another episode of Journey Unknown. On this particular episode, we're going to talk about the tools and the toys that we take on tour. It's very important to be able to take the tools that are necessary for all the little things that happen along the way, rather than having to call a mechanic in to fix things or ask a neighbour if they've got a cable tie or a bolt or a nut or whatever. So today's episode is going to be all about everything that we take, all the nuts and bolts and tools, much to Laura's eye rolling because she seems to think we don't need all this, all this gear. But when something breaks, let me tell you, you need it. All right, so we'll just start off with a basic tool bag and this is what I use every day of the week, um, either down at the farm or at work here. I don't take every single tool that I have obviously, but a grinder, battery operated grinder, this is always very handy. You know, you might need to cut something off the van or you've hit something. But yeah, angle grind is always really handy. It's a good, good tool. It's not that heavy. You know, the batteries are probably the heaviest thing. Your standard drill, rather than taking heaps of drill bits, I like these little, these drills, drill bits here. They go from all different ranges. So I take a few of these and that seems to do the job. Although I do have some smaller drill bits that I take as well. Okay, impact driver. Now this is great for if you obviously, you know, need to change your tire on your caravan or your car. Um, this has got the grunt that will do that. Uh, plus the battery itself has got the grunt, most importantly, that will take the tightest of wheel nuts off. So great bit of kit. Definitely need these three items. As I said before, just got some little drill bits. Make sure they're sharp and new because there's nothing worse when you're trying to drill something out and it's, you've got a blunt drill bit. You'll be just there, you'll be, you know, trying to drill your way to China. It's terrible. So take a little brand new set of those. These are super important. Um, I know they're probably a little bit expensive, but the large ones are great. There's so many versatile things you can do with these, as most people know something breaks on your awning or something bre breaks in the car or whatever, you can just quickly cable tie it up or a hose or whatever. So always take that. Okay, so your different size wheel nut adapters, the drill goes directly into the back of, of this socket and it will fit the Land Cruiser and also the van. They're the two different sizes. So if someone else is in trouble, we've got different wheel nuts, you can help them out with those. Multi tool Allen key set, super handy. This this bit of gear folds in. I've got Imperial and Metric, so that's that's a great bit of kit. This little box here is just a box of little bits and pieces for your hex head bits, um, your adapter, so you can put a socket on the end of that. Little things like that. Phillips head, flat head. You never know when you might need that. Always important to take a bit of electrical tape. Plumber's tape, you never know, something might leak in the van. You need to put some plumber's tape on that to stop that leaking. All right, so just an example of the plumber's tape. Just here, we get a little bit of a leak in our shower. So I'm going to put some plumber's tape on this thread right now, and that'll eliminate the leak, okay? So the important thing with plumber's tape, it goes on one way. Now you want to put it on the way that you're going to re-thread it back on because when you break the tape off, you don't want the tape to unravel as you're screwing it back on. So you need to go actually the opposite way to the way that you thread it. And what that will do is keep the tape nice and tight. run the plumber's tape around like that, like so, break it off, it's not sticky, it just clicks on exactly like that, too easy, now you re-thread it and that makes for a really nice tight join, that will not leak again. Even if you don't know how to do all this sort of stuff, 
it's super quick just to have a look on YouTube. You might be in the middle of nowhere. If you've got some service, look on YouTube and how to fix a leaking tap. And I guarantee you, you'll need that plumbing tape. Super important. All right, the other real handy piece of gear here is just a little small multimeter. Okay, so you can see the voltage on your battery. You don't know what's happening with your, your dual battery or your start battery in your car. You can always click this on and see what volts are coming through. So that's a great bit of gear. That just stays in there as well. Pretty simple. It's better than carrying a big heavy shifter around. Bang, straight on your tow nut. Takes it off straight away. Oh, what else we got? Hammer, super important. That's your, your Imperial Allen key. So there's two different types, depending on the, the Allen key that you need. And then over here, we have some, um, what have we got here? Some wire splitters. These are unreal, just, you know, saves you trying to split the wires with uh, with some pliers or whatnot. So you just put your wire straight in here, pull pull this and it'll thread the, the plastic off the end of the wire. So to whatever length that you like, and then you can cut it off and you can also crimp, crimp as well. So if you've got little bits and pieces, you might need to crimp with your electrical work. Great bit of gear. Uh, just a Stanley knife, some more crimps, pliers, another Stanley knife and that's pretty much it that lives in that box. So it's not super overweight. It's all pretty easy to get to and we have that in the van so it's accessible because there's nothing worse if you pull up the side of the road somewhere and you, you need a tool, 100%, you need this accessible. Don't, don't pack it away in the middle of the tunnel boot where it's hard to get to because it will just drive you nuts. You might you know, need to fix something quite quickly. Oh, this synchrome bag um, was actually a gift from my future future brother-in-law. Thank you, Stuart. If you're watching out there, I'm sure you are. <laughs> um, love this this bag. Uh, I believe you get it from Bunnings. Um, I think it's around hundred dollars. So it's easy to use, super compact, uh, lightweight. Has plenty of compartments, and I love the fact how it's got the pockets at the front, so you can just easily get your tools from anywhere, it's got pockets down the side. Oh, I've got grinding discs as well. So these are multi, multi use grinding discs, can cut through pretty much anything. Rather than carrying a whole range of different discs, just take the, get the one, and that sits in the side there. What have we got over here? They're empty, so there you go. We forgot the blower. <laughs> you gotta have this unreal for either blowing the caravan out, getting the fire started, uh, blowing up a lilo, just whatever. All our gear is, is Bosch, so we take two batteries and it just runs everything, so you don't want to take too, many, too much weight. All right, so Troy's showing you all the tools that he takes along, you know, that massive weight that we carry that he thinks that we need. But these are all the toys that we sometimes carry. I'd call them probably toys and luxury items because they're pretty cool. All right, let's start here. So this is a recent purchase. This is our new charcuterie picnic basket. And I just keep it in the bag to keep it protected. So that's our new picnic basket. It's handy because it acts like a table. The top is the shop chopping board and Troy actually uh, food grade oiled that for us. And I think you gave it, did you give it a bit of a sand? Yeah. It feels smooth, yeah. Yeah, I'm, so, a, I'm a furniture polisher. <laughs> That's sort of know what I'm doing. The inside is a cooler bag. So it's zipped and it's lined. The idea behind this is that you put your dips, your grapes, your fruit, whatever, and your wine in here. And then you go out to your little camp area and you got all your nibbles and stuff. And then when you run out, you just lift off the lid and you get the rest out. You don't even have to go inside. Item number two, you have seen this before in our McGorrins video. So this is our Audi vacuum cleaner with a dust buster attachment. So very handy. I used that last night to clean the bunk beds to get the sand off the bunk beds. Thank you. 
factory floor a little clean. Mm, yeah. But how good is it with the lights? And then you've got a low setting and you've got a high setting. That is very handy. Now, this was a great debate between Troy and I, whether to get this chair. So I actually bought these for my parents and they said they're too big. And then Troy said they're too big. But they're so comfortable. Like, look how padded they are. It's got a nice high back. You've got two uh, drink holders. You've got a wine holder here. You've got the pocket, the magazine pocket on the side. And then, you know, after a long day camping or hiking, <laughs> just get back there. And you put your feet up. And then just lie in the sun. They're bulky to carry around. But I think they're well worth it. But here's a fun fact. I actually looked on the Navigator website today at their adult Navigator chairs and they are a meter tall as well. And they pack up pretty much to the same. So I actually thought the Navigator ones were like, like the Dashi ones, the square, but they're not, they actually pack up like this. So I thought, well, I'll get the ones with the, the foot recline. Another Kmart purchase. Now this one hasn't been opened, it's still got the tag on it. I bought us a, actually, it's a single hammock, darling, it's not a double. Yeah, that, that'll fit me in it, no worries. <laughs> so we haven't used this yet, but hopefully at the Grand Pians, obviously there's heaps of trees around, so we might get this out and just lay about. Keeps us off the ground, keeps us comfortable. Something different to the camp chair. That was 20 bucks from Kmart. I think you're gonna realize that I love Kmart. So moving on to uh, our Stanley uh, ratchet set, I love this, how it wraps up perfectly, um, it's got all the way down to 8mm spanner, all the way up to 19mm, and I don't know if you can see there, but it ratchets really well so you don't have to keep taking it off turning it taking it off turning it great bit of gear I've, I've had this this set for years and years and used it on many occasions out in the bush um, especially when I used to do a lot of fall driving um, very handy extremely handy and it folds up wraps up really easily and just bang like that similar here with this set this is the vice grip Irwin vice grip set this set is awesome. Once again, rolls right out. You've got your pliers, your pointy nose pliers, another set of pliers. You've got your side cutters for, for cutting cable ties or whatever. Your shifter, the shifter goes out quite large, so that's important. This can do your tow ball on your car as well. And then, you, then you've got um, some vice grips. So, your small vice grips all the way down to your very big vice grips and they're great for pipe pipe work you might have some trouble down under under your van you might need to tighten a pipe pipe up that's gone loose so we carry this as well um, also the main reason why we've got all this gear out and we thought we'd do a video on this is because we'll be taking all this gear to the grampians coming up shortly over the easter break and um no doubt We'll film if anything, if we need to utilise, I'm sure. There's always something you're fixing. Hey, this box here, oh, she's got a bit of weight in it. <laughs> but um, this is a front runner box. So I've got a few of these. We don't take them all the time. Uh, mainly on the larger trips, we take this box. And the greatest thing about these boxes is they can stack on top of each other. Not super expensive. I can't actually recall what I paid for. I've had it for a long time. So you just clip the top off as so. All right, we'll start from the top. So we have a soldering iron, and I just got this from Aldi. It's got solder in it. I've used it heaps of times when um, some electrical work goes wrong and you need to fix that up. So that's a great bit of gear, and that's gas, gas operated, so no batteries involved. Some heat shrink. Um, if you don't know what heat shrink is, that wraps around 
your electrical cable and then you heat it up with your lighter or a hot torch and that will crimp around the metal part of the, the actual wire um, which will stop things shorting out because when you do this type of work you don't want metal hitting metal or something that's live hitting metal. That's a big no-no. Alright, assorted fuses. These are a must. You've got all the way up to 50 amp fuses um, and then your little 10 amp, 8 amp, 5 amp. So, guarantee you will come across needing a fuse at some stage when you tour. That's a, that's a given. We have some assorted electrical terminal terminal kits and basically these are just your little your little joiners and that's what we use those crimps for okay that's pretty all self-explanatory I've just had this um, rad weld if your radiator leaks I've had that for god knows how long not even sure if it still works but we take it with us this is a bit of a bit of start you bastard it's what Laura uses for me in the morning when I don't get out of bed <laughs> Gives it a bit of shake. This stuff is really good. If something doesn't start, you sp spray it in your carby and bang, she kicks off. So I just carry that around. Uh, we have some Velcro, pretty lightweight stuff, but can come in handy. Some red Anderson plugs. Uh, if we need those, they're there. Araldite, this is another great thing to take along. You'll find that, you know, little things might break, even if it's a pair of sunnies or something like that. You can just get some Araldite put it together and bang, super strong. This is another radiator weld kit. It's similar to, to Need It, if you don't know. I usually carry Need It with me. If you don't know what Need It is, it's a, it's a tube, it's like plasticine, and you mix the two components together and you stick it on a hole or something, it goes rock hard. That is some of the best gear you can take. It's, it just tends to fix any leak anywhere. I've put it on a radiator before with a hole in it and never changed the radiator. It's, um, it's still probably still working to this day. Not on this car, but another car that I've got. Got some more little um, connectors, some more fuses, some double sided tape. Always comes in handy. Now, this is, I know this is heavy. But the amount of times that you'll come across where you need a particular size bolt, if something's broken, um, you know, I've done the Cape York trip before and we've had uh, suspension arms break, so we need U-bolts to click all that back on. Um, and this just come in super handy. We've got a couple of shackles there, um, some, some Teflon washers, some more Anderson plugs, but all different types of size bolts, um, spare wheel nuts, smaller bolts, U-bolts, hose clamps. These are the things that blow off your car and you're in the middle of nowhere and you can't fix it unless you've got one of these. So think about getting a little kit like this together and you mightn't use it, you know, hopefully you don't, but I guarantee you when you're out in the middle of nowhere and something goes wrong, you, you're gonna go, oh, thank God I've got that. It's happened so many times to us. So yeah, plenty of hose clamps, plenty of small bolts, um, and that's that's about it for the front rudder kit. Like I said, we don't take it on every trip. If we go on short trips, like down to um, Jandra up the other week, we don't take this stuff. It's, it's not necessary and we're not far from a Bunnings or whatever so it's mainly when we do our big tours that we take this all this gear This big thing here, this is our stand up paddleboard This is a beauty, like we've used this a lot and we will be taking this to the Grand Prix because we'll use it on the lakes there so um, That was I think that was about 500 from Anaconda, but I bought it over 12 months ago, I reckon. To go with that, Coco has a life jacket, okay? Um, she's a very good swimmer, but in the rough seas and in lakes where there's a lot of snags and stuff, um, she should really have a life jacket on, so she's got that to keep her safe. All right, so this is our 
kayak, our double kayak. It's also from Anaconda, which we probably purchased over 12 months ago as well. Anyway, it's a double kayak and Troy and I have both used it and it's really fun. Uh, comes with some two sets of pad paddles as well. That's actually quite heavy. But, oh my God. That's probably 30 kilos, I reckon. We don't have a compressor set up in the Land Cruiser just yet. So we've just got a portable Ironman compressor that we carry, hooks directly to the back of the car, put an Anderson plug on with a 50 amp fuse, and that goes directly to the rear of the car and gives us power straight away. So it's great at, right at the rear because it means we can do the caravan and we can do the car at the same time. So that seems to do well. We've got some more fuses in there too because you never know when you need those. Uh, bring on over to the recovery gear. Uh, we don't have a winch on the Land Cruiser just as yet. We will get one down the track. Um, but it's good to carry recovery gear anyway in case you get into trouble and you need someone to pull you out. At least you've got all the kit. We've got the blankets. Um, we've got snatch straps, shackles, uh, which down the track we'll probably look at getting the soft shackles because these are get these are quite weighty. Just a pair of riggers gloves. And that, my friend, <laughs> is the tools that we take on tour. Hopefully that's given you an insight um, on what to take. You might think, no, it's a bit over the top, but there's some things in there you, you might say to yourself, geez, that's not a bad idea, I should take that. Uh, you never know, it gets you out of trouble or might get your friend out of trouble. So there you have it. It's pretty heavy, all this gear. Um, so weight-wise, you're probably looking at around about 100 kilos, all up, uh, maybe 120, but it's worth it. All right, so over here, in this bag, holds our still battery-operated oper chainsaw. I've got heaps of chainsaws, petrol-operated ones. I've used to take them for driving all the time. This thing here is an absolute beauty. Love it. it it just cuts through everything. The battery lasts for ages, lightweight. It's just easy. <laughs> this does the job. Couldn't be happier with that. Actually, Laura purchased this, one of her better purchases. Uh, in this bag here, we just carry some chain oil. That's super important. Every time your battery goes flat, you put oil in your in your uh, chainsaw and that keeps everything lubricated that's the chainsaw in here these are little drifter bags by the way i've had these for a while um, just some sand pegs heaps of sand pegs heaps of pegs more gloves and another hammer probably don't need two hammers but you never know just here we have the lithium charger and this charges the lithium battery in the back of the Land Cruiser, the 200 amp hour lithium battery. Um, yeah, we can plug this into our inverter in our caravan if we like and then charge the battery in the back or vice versa. So we don't have solar panels on the Land Cruiser at the moment. So what we do is use this. Navigator shovel uh, and rake. Super lightweight, great bit of gear. Yeah, does the job. The other little tool I like to carry is this tire repair kit. This will get you out of trouble. Um, I can't remember, can't recall what they cost, uh, but you can get it from ARB. It's got all, all the gear in there. I've used it once or twice, but nothing on this car or this van. Um, but yeah, just YouTube it. Another good bit of kit. This bag here, I keep just our ratchet straps. So assorted, different assorted ratchet straps. You never know when you need them. We just put a little, I've knocked off a couple of uh, Laura's hair ties. <laughs> 
um, and that keeps that nice and handy. So there you go. I forgot one thing, inox. Love this stuff. It's great. You can even spray it under your car if you're going to hit the beach. It's going to help protect the underneath of your vehicle. Uh, it's great lubricant for everything. We take this with us everywhere. If there's anything that you think that we've missed that you would take on your trip, just hit us up in the comments and let us know because I think I've got it covered, but I'm not 100% sure. There's always something. I don't know if Laura will let me take it, but we can give it a go. <laughs>